it's just a Imagine RC tiny telemetry system. Um, it's a miniature GPS receiver and uh, I suppose an audio data encoder that can be used to send your current position and battery voltage, current usage back to your easy antenna tracker ground station over your audio channel on your video transmitter. You can also plug in your uh, was it iTelemetry iPhone application or Android application and I believe there's a PC version as well so you can have a live feed of what's coming back from your plane and a pot point plotted on Google Maps. I put the packet. This is the actual tiny telemetry itself and as the name suggests it is tiny. I mean it's what, I don't know, 12 millimeters, 50 millimeters deep, probably nearly 20 millimeters across. Um, simple connector at the bottom for your audio out, power in, battery level, uh, common ground and the current sensor. The current sensor itself is just another tiny little board. Solder on your deans or your cables onto that. And then this end here obviously connects onto this end somehow. I'm guessing like that maybe. Yep. So you've got battery, current and ground. And the other lead is supplied. This is quite neat. It's a servo lead at one end, a JR connector, and at the other end is a little plug to see that's used on cameras and all sorts of things, board cameras. Uh, but this end, if we plug it in, same way around again, ground to the same side, we now have a convenient little connector that we can plug straight into our immersion RC video transmitter. Like so. So as soon as I plug my video transmitter back into my plane, this tiny telemetry is good to go. Well, I shall fit it back to my plane and then I shall do another video of it set up and running. Well, it really was simple to fit. The uh, tiny telemetry is now fixed into the frame of my flying wing. You can see I've located it near my other GPS receiver. And then the wire just runs back to the video transmitter and that was it, spot on, really easy uh, powers up, light seems to come on so now I'll see if I can get it to communicate with my easy antenna tracker right so here's my antenna tracker and I'll power it up okay so once it's initialized we should get the status menu and I don't know if you can see the text on the camera, hopefully you can now the plane's on in the background, the tiny telemetry should be sending its data down the right hand channel. The right hand channel's attached into the easy antenna. I've only used a standard phono cable. I've just made this up myself. So there's a phono connector at one end and that goes to a 4 pin 3.5mm connector which is connected to the easy antenna tracker. And if I scroll down, there we go, decoder. So we're getting good packets, a couple of bad ones, probably because I'm pretty much sat on top of the plane. And there's our audio levels. Looks a bit weak. Hopefully again that's because I'm sat on top of the plane. But yeah, simple as that. Uh, I probably won't be able to get a fix at the moment because I'm indoors. Let's have a quick look. No, it's definitely not my latitude and longitude there. But it's, it's beginning to get a fix. But yeah, that simple. And hopefully I'll have a video later today of it working. So basically, yeah, put your easy antenna tracker on your plane, plug it into your video transmitter, either using the plug and play cable if you've got an immersion RC transmitter, or uh, it comes with another cut lead that you can attach to your, your transmitter. And then you use one of your audio channels. If you've got just one audio channel, well, you can have to use that one and you won't be able to hear your plane. But a lot of people don't like to listen to it anyway. And that's simple. If you want to see how to set up this easy antenna tracker, Check out one of my other videos.
Thanks for watching.